Hey BG Squad, on our first edition of Your Voice, we wanted to check out one of Toronto's most notorious neighborhoods. You've probably heard of it, Jane and Finch. And yeah, it's no secret there's a certain perception of this community. But what does that actually mean to people who live here? Let's find out. You gotta tell me which neighborhood are you from? Jane and Finch, you're right over here at Palisades. When you think Jane and Finch, what do you think about your hood? What does that mean to you? Uh, well, geographically where we are right now, mm -hmm. with the exception of maybe like uh, Jamestown, this is the most diverse neighborhood in Canada. So we're literally in the center of the world. I'm coming from India where people socialize a lot. Uh -huh. So this is one place where we like to see the vibe of it. That's yeah. so amazing. Yeah. How long have you lived here in Jane Finch? Eight, eight months. It's only eight months. Only eight months, yeah. So I'm a newbie in Canada itself. So this is my first winter, as you can see. <laughs> so yeah. When I tell people like I'm from this area, I say it proud because like I think it's such a big place in Toronto where a lot of people come from, but they just don't talk about it, right? We got educators, journalists, yeah. you know, um, artists, different people doing different things. So that's. That's something that people don't necessarily see, you know, on a regular and it's not, not documented and showcased. What is that stigma that is perceived about Jane and Finch and how does it make you feel? People associated with poverty, murder, crime, you know, destitute, but, you know, and while those things are true and I'm not going to say they don't exist here, they also exist everywhere. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it makes me feel ashamed, but then I have to remind myself that this is what made me me. Whenever I meet people that are not from this area, they're like, oh, you're from Jane and Finch, you're from Jane and Shepherd. Like, aren't you scared to like walk out at night? I'm like, no, it's just a regular neighborhood, if anything. Mm -hmm. Just like any neighborhood in Toronto. It has its ups and downs, but it has actual like, in my opinion, like working class here. I wouldn't say something uh, bad about this neighborhood per se. According to my personal experience, yeah. I love the beef noodles from that place. And then you have Popeyes. That's one of the best burgers I've ever had in my life. I should you not, India is like one of the shittiest burgers. Mm -hmm. Please cut that. <laughs> you know, usually when news cameras are around, it's because of something negative. If you're going to watch CP24 and that's where you're going to get information from about the community, it's going to be limited because they're not interested in documenting those stories. How would you like to see Jaden Finch defined? What would you want it to be known for if you could change the narrative? Creativity, resilience. Like I said, it's, it's the microcosm of the world. Everybody is here coming from different experiences and stuff like that and walks of life. So there's just a lot of lived experiences and knowledge that people carry and that they walk with. When I ask you, where are you from? Where are you from? I'm from Jane and Finch. <laughs> Jane and Finch. Yay. Jane and Finch. <laughs> Jane and Finch, yo, Palisades all day, you don't know. We just want to big up all the people here at Jane and Finch for opening up to us. And know this, we'll be back.